We're talking today to Elizabeth South, and this is one lady that I really appreciate, not only for her music and for the way it touches the heart, but also because she is a very real person. And by real person, I mean that she cares about the people that she comes in contact with. And if you are a friend on her Facebook site, and we'll have her give that here in a minute, she also will respond back to you if you leave her a comment or ask her a question. And I think that's pretty neat. Welcome, Elizabeth, to WEEC. I know we have talked to you before and we play your music here on WEEC. But how in the world are you? I'm doing great. Thank you so much. It's good to hear from you. Well, for our listeners who maybe aren't as familiar with you or haven't heard our previous interviews that we've had with you, give us a little bit about your background and your testimony. Okay. Well, I have been singing since I was basically um, discovered, someone discovered that I could sing when I was in second grade. We were singing in music class. Uh, a silent night, and one of the teachers said, who is that singing? And they kind of pulled me out and put me in a solo, and so I started singing from there and pretty much uh, singing everywhere for a long time. And I really actually started out in musical theater. That was a great love of mine, being in plays and um, acting and singing as well. And then I had very strong faith in God, I went through a time in my life where I was questioning, I felt lonely, and I really, I felt like God, God really reached out to me, and He spoke to me, and He saved me in quite a really special way, and so I've had my faith with God relationship with um, Jesus now for several years, and that relationship and my music have just only recently, I've started to connect and come together in a way that I think is is really kind of coming to what I'm doing right now. I always wanted to do Christian music, but I didn't know how to do that for a long time. Basically, I started writing music when I went through something difficult in my Christian walk. I mean, this is, some people think that the Christian walk is supposed to be kind of an easy, you know, everything's going to be perfect now. And there are going to be hardships even in our Christian walk. I went through something, and I really felt like God was speaking to me, and I had just kind of started writing music, and I started to discover that I could do something that I didn't think I could do. I'd never tried to write really write songs before, and I started to find comfort in writing music and kind of putting my thoughts about God and Scripture and His comfort for me through music. So I wasn't planning on trying to be a Christian artist to get on the radio or anything, although that, you know, that's something I would, of course, love to do. That wasn't why I started doing that. I started doing it just, like I said, for um, the comfort and encouragement. And I had a few people, great people in my life, encourage me to, you know, record the music and get it out there. So now, uh, in turn, with songs like Have Faith, I'm finding that God is using my music to help encourage other people who are going through situations in their life or their Christian walk as well. That is for sure. In fact, I was just going to bring up the song Have Faith because not only does it touch my heart, but I know several people that have been going through some difficult times. And I posted that song on my Facebook site, Have Faith, that you did. And so many people have told me that that song just really touches their heart and gives them encouragement. And I really want to thank you, Elizabeth, for writing that song, Have Faith, because it has touched many other hearts, not just mine, but many others. And we thank you for letting God use you in such a mighty, miraculous way. Well, I just definitely am just tool, And I, <laughs> I will say that when I was a little girl, I knew I could sing, and I always, I wasn't, my grandmother was a really strong believer, and she was such a great example to me, but I don't think, you know, when I was very little, I don't, I don't think that it was very clear to me how to be a Christian. I didn't quite understand it, and I wasn't really in a relationship with God, but I always knew, I always thought, God has given me a voice. And I always go around saying, 
people, like, how'd you get your voice? Well, my parents can't sing at all. And <laughs> they have no musical talent, which is really funny. So I said, well, it definitely just has to be a gift from God. <laughs> because that's the, um, I always felt like that was the evidence um, in my life. And, uh, and, and I feel sometimes like that my road to this place has been uh, not smooth. And it hasn't been something that, you know, I feel is plopped in my lap. I do feel like that I've had to, to live a little and go through some things and um, to, to come to this place. So I'm very grateful to God for using some, you know, to using my life because you know, no one's perfect and I'm definitely not. And um, so I feel very honored to be a part of what he's doing. So what is your goal with your music then? I know your music has been referred to as being healing, and that's one thing on your website that they talk about, you know, the healing music. What is your goal with your music? Well, that is my goal, healing. I really just want to I want to do whatever God wants me to do. I, it's very easy for me, and this is even 
I, some of my songs that I write might even reflect my journey through the music itself, and um, maybe not clearly, but it's very easy for all of us to have goals and to, uh, you know, I want a number one song, or I want to be on a label, or I want to you know, that I want to have marketing, and 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 I can think about all that, and but if that's not the plan that God has for me, then that's not. He's going to do what he wants to do, and he's made it clear, and I feel like he's been speaking to me, that he wants me to just be where I am right now, not try to push anything with it. Some people will say, well, make it in the top ten billboard, and they're disappointed in that, and sure, I, that would be nice if a song would reach that, but I, I say, I'm glad I, I've been playing on your station at all. I'm, I'm very grateful that you would play my song and share that with people. So I feel very humbled and grateful. Well, we're glad to have you on WEC, which brings me to the question, what is happening recently with your music? Um, Are you working on new projects? What's going on? Yes. Well, first of all, I did film a music video for Have Faith a few weeks ago in in Nashville and um, excited about releasing that. I guess the theater side of me, that's something I just really enjoy. And so this is my first music, real music video. And so I'm excited to do that because I've just always wanted to do that. But even with this song, I felt like I really needed to have something that I could just always have. There is going to be somewhat of a story, like all good videos have something specific in it. I think I want to wait and let people kind of see it, but the story that I'm going into with the music video is something that I feel a lot of people can relate to, something that a difficult situation in life. Um, I didn't go into all the different aspects of struggling and stuff, but there, there is one thing there that's kind of personal and um, something I think people will be able to relate to. So hopefully it will be encouraging as well. Now, Elizabeth, if our listeners would like to learn more about you, would you give us your website and maybe even how they can find you on Facebook? Yes, um, you can find me at elizabethsouth.com, my website. And I would love for people to um, add my Facebook page and, and write me. Um, that's facebook.com slash Elizabeth South Music. Also, I wanted to mention that I have another single coming out in, oh, a, new worship, in a worship album. Give us a little bit of insight into that. Yes. After I finished my current album, The Mysteries of Our Minds, that has Have Faith on it, I started in October. This current album is more for me kind of getting it out there for pop and Christian. But this one, I thought I really would like to have some worship songs. So I began writing and recording uh, with Billy Smiley again in about October, I think we started. And initially it was just going to be me singing a a few songs that someone else had written. And I started that, and then I started writing uh, some more songs. There was a song that I wrote that was I had written a long time ago, kind of wrote it around the same time as Have Faith, and it's called I Will Trust You. I think it's going to be a wonderful song, and my promoter uh, is very excited about it. <laughs> and that song pretty much encompasses a lot of what the message of the whole album. There's a lot of points to it, like trusting... Christ for our salvation, eternal life. One of the lines is, you will take me home. And it's based on Psalm 48, 14. You are God forever and ever. You will guide me to the end. So it's just a lot of uh, scripture and uh, prayers motivate this. But also the album is dealing with fear as well, because there's a lot of things in life, if, you know, if we're honest, there's a lot of fearful things out there. And it's it's how, uh, why the songs deal, especially this song as well, dealing with fear and trusting God in spite of that and his, and his love and his forgiveness. And so uh, all of those points are actually in this one song. So I was just looking at the lyrics again, and I really do feel like they were inspired by Scripture and, 
and by God himself. So I hope that you will like that one, too. And actually, I'm going to film a music video for I Will Trust You as well. So that one will come out after the, the single release. The video will come out maybe in maybe September or something like that. Well, and our listeners can follow that by going to your uh, website. If you go to my website, ElizabethSouth.com, and especially I do find these days that I, I start most of my updates on my Facebook music page. I like to write what's going on and put things up on there, and then that kind of goes to other things like MySpace and Twitter as well, but that's kind of where I like to start. So please add me on there. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you, Elizabeth, so much for taking the time today to share with us. So great talking with you.